Well, people out in Bastrop County are concerned about flooding from recent rain, and they got some good news tonight, but they're not out of the woods yet. Dave Rakes, Tina Shively joins us now from a point upstream on the Colorado River, Lady Bird Lake. Tina. Good morning, Andrew. I want to show you the water level here. It's no doubt higher because of those recent rains, but what I want to show you is the debris here. You can see a lot of it floating on top of the lake. It's just kind of floating there, not really moving, and that is good news for people downstream in Bastra. An official statement that neighbors were in the clear when it comes to flooding and evacuations came around midnight. That's when the Bastrop County Office of Emergency Management took to Facebook. They posted that the river had crested at just over 15 feet and was receding. But more rain is on the way, as Andrew just told us, and that could bring the high water levels back to Bastrop. Neighbors faced with the threat of evacuation are prepared for the worst. But they're also looking at the positive features that the rain brings. The high water is made for good fishing, and the trees strained by drought conditions may have hope as winter approaches. It's given us the necessary water, but uh, we'll come out and find all kinds of treasures out here next week when uh, we visit the property again. Like what? A lot of free firewood. <laughs> The neighbors under the highest threat are Hidden Shores, Pecan Shores, and the Kirtley subdivision in Bastrop County. But they're not the only ones bracing for rain. There are also several other low-lying communities along the Colorado River out there that are preparing for the worst. Live on Lady Bird Lake this morning, Tina Shively, KV News Daybreak.